Welcome to another edition of Brooklyn College Presents. Today's topic is wrestling, but no, we are not going to talk about show business wrestling, like the one you see on television on Saturday nights. Today we are going to talk about wrestling as a serious sport. It seems that, that wrestling is becoming a rising sport at Brooklyn College. Here we have a very enthusiastic group of young wrestlers. On behalf of the Brooklyn College wrestling team, we welcome to our studio Coach John Beatty and Assistant Coach Steve Avina. Mr. Beatty, can you tell a little bit about the history of the Brooklyn College wrestling team? When was it founded and how has it developed over the years? Yeah, I can tell you a little bit about it because I've only been with them for two years because uh, they've been changing coaches fairly rapidly. Uh, it was here on and off when I was a student in the 60s, uh, but as I said, I've only been with it two years ago, from two years ago, and uh, Steve has been with it for four years, so he's actually been here longer than I am. Six. So, six, six years. <laughs> so maybe you can tell them a little about what went on before I got here. Well, I've been involved with the team since 1984. Um, since then, we've had a turnover. Coach Beatty here is our, th our third head coach in that time. And since 82, he's our fifth coach. Um, and the sixth one coming up yeah. next. Well, thank you. We have prepared a tape to show you a typical training session. Coach Beatty and Coach Avina will comment on the various training exercises. We're uh, looking at here is the uh, wrestling team as it starts, uh, normally starts off in the practice session, doing their warm-ups to stretch out. This is John Garolanis on the left in the yellow shorts, and Dave Melendez here, who is going to be a captain next year. Yes. Co-captain to John Garolanis. The warm-ups are largely to stretch out the um, muscles and make sure that nobody gets injured in the practices and in the meets. Warm-ups uh, help help with the uh, stretching, a lot more effective with the stretching. What the uh, problem is, of course, is in any combative sport where you have a lot of body contact and a lot of pulling on the body, that there's always a danger that somebody's going to pull a muscle or hurt a ligament. So the more stretch you get to it and the more warmed up it is before you start, the better off they are. You'll notice here that uh, John Gerolanis is counting off all the exercises and the team will count along with him. This is, uh, gives the team a sense of uh, unity and spirit behind it so that they feel they're doing something as a group because although when you get out on the mats it's a very individualistic sport and everybody is just sort of one-on-one -on -one out there, there's still team points involved in everything and so it's a way of building up some feeling of uh, solidarity uh, among the team members. Uh, so this is one of the three kinds of wrestling that goes on here. Freestyle, which is what they do at the Olympic, Collegiate, which is what we do here, and greco Roman, which also goes on at the Olympics. Usually after most practices, um, the team will have a, a very short meeting and a few words will be said, either on the day's performance, uh, a recent match, or upcoming events. Coach Beatty, can you please tell us the philosophy that is behind the sport of wrestling? Well, that's sort of complicated, but it's uh, in a large way. But the Just idea of uh, competition in these kind of things, I think, goes a long way about it. But the other thing is that the whole nature of acting as a group and having some dedication to something and being uh, willing to devote yourself and time to things and it, it I think it teaches you a great deal about uh, not just wrestling itself but how to be involved in living in general and the <laughs> idea of tr getting yourself ready for a match and how you prepare for things in, in life in general I think so it's different, think like that. different teams uh, have different philosophies some schools you can immediately spot that they have a win at all cost type philosophy I've seen guys injured so badly that they should never have stepped on the mat and their coaches not only let them but encouraged them to do that. <coughs> For the team's sake we try to push a a teamwork kind of philosophy here. Uh, as we mentioned before I believe the team has been dropped a few times for yeah. financial and for lack of participants. With what we're the teamwork that philosophy that we are pushing we're having a larger number of athletes who stay on year after year yeah. and then I think it's, there's a lot of things involved, and I mean, there's the, y obviously s people want to win. It's nice to win, yeah. but there are other things beyond that that I think are more important. And so there's a kind of uh, not just sportsmanship, but integrity, and uh, a number of things about just you know extending yourself to do things in this in this manner. And I would rather have them all in that frame of mind and lose than I would have them win and be getting mm -hmm. injured and, and doing other kind of thing. Of course, it's nice if they can do both. You <laughs> yeah, <know>. that's true. <laughs> that's have true. all of it together. <laughs> but if, if you have no. to make a decision, it's certainly that way. 